So when I started this photography journey, uh, I had an interest in photo and filmmaking, but I have no clue what I was doing. Tjena, I'm Ludwig Niedewart and welcome to this channel. When I started, I had my GH5 and a Canon 24-7mm lens. I didn't know how to use different focal lengths. Today, I still don't, but I knew one thing. I knew, knew they could make a difference in photos. And I wanna show you what you can do by changing it up uh, in different scenarios. I will show you how a landscape photo can look using a 19 millimeter lens versus shooting it at a 200. I will show you how to change the scene by using different focal lengths. It's quite windy today. So I'm actually planning on starting off with the 19 millimeter lens just to, it's easy to carry like this. I have the other one in my bag, the 200 mil. It's, it's a little bit heavy, bigger and heavy. It's just best to keep it in the bag, bring it out whenever I'm actually going to take the photo. So it's going to be a less windy here, uh, easier to talk. So I have two locations I'll be scouting out. Uh, one is uh, actually we're staying on a bridge, uh, looking over like the, this is a huge bridge going over over the sea here. That's. Uh, that's the first location, it's not very far. Then I'm gonna go walk over that and actually go on top of that. Now I started to blow again. But I'm uh, actually gonna go start, go over that, uh, the bigger bridge, uh, so you can get a top view of, of the city. I think that would be, it would be an amazing shot. Uh, I think especially with the, the 200, because it's quite far to get all zoomed in. Uh, This bridge is way bigger than, than you expect when you're driving on it. Uh, it's a lot bigger when you're walking. A lot longer. I want to be like on the middle of the bridge, looking out over the town. Let's see if I can get a nice shot in there. I don't think the sound, sound is going to be that great. once this shoot or this walk it feels like the 19 doesn't cut it really it's uh let's see if the 200 can make a better job oh i want to be be on this bridge yeah because this is this is a lot better oh man okay i need to get off the bridge i can't really the plan isn't to shoot like the coolest product photos ever. The plan is to just show things you can do using different lenses. 
got these uh, samples. Uh, they're samples for a kitchen. So I figure I, I can use them for for photos. I have a few different ones, uh, different colors and textures. I will use this ring. This is gonna be a simple product laying there. Uh, just play around with the lights and figure something out. Yeah, let's switch this bazooka out to a little bit more elegant lens. That was fun. That was fun. To change lens or to use different focal length in different scenarios, there's many ways you can change the scene. A 200 millimeter lens, also called a telephoto lens, for its way to be more zoomed in and isolating a subject. It's also great for creating a nice looking depth of field in the photo. People probably say that the 200 lens is awesome for shooting sport, which it is. Uh, and portraits, but if you want to change it up and put more focus on a subject in a landscape photo, this lens will do a perfect job for that. A 90mm lens or a wide angle lens will give you a bigger field of view than the 200. I've seen people use it for much more than just landscape photos. If you want to make a cool close up low angle, the 90mm lens is perfect or any wide angle lens. It will be hard for the 200 lens to create that type of scenery, uh, a nice close-up, like a lot of things in the picture. Which one is better? I wouldn't say one is better than the other. They just have different field of expertise. And it's only your created flow that can uh, stop you from making great photos with any type of lens. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video. Hold up.